slacking on you people. I didn't bring my cameras over here. I would planned on keeping my C70 here, but I uh, just, uh, we've been using it a lot in, uh, in various shoots that we've been doing at the garage. So, some about the oldest, longest following or uh, members of the Facebook group, uh, uh, the moderators are here, there's six of us here, and uh, I posed the idea, what if we play with some tool grid? And they're like, yeah, let's do tool grid. Well, then I, uh, I uh, reminded them how many tools I have. Uh, and so we're in the midst of a rather uh, tedious project of figuring out how to organize 3,000 some odd individual tools. Uh, and so I do have my little Sony ZV-1 here and it just dawned on me, I need to capture, this is too good. Uh, so I'll show you what we're doing, what we're up to, try to capture this as much as I can. Uh, it won't be at our normal production value, but you get the gist of it. So let's take a look. So we've got, I've got 20, let's see. Three or four, eight, twelve, uh, fourteen. So I've got twenty-eight deep drawers. So I think these are all six-inch drawers. These are all saber cabinets. And then I've got four, eight, sixteen shallow, like regular-sized drawers. So we've got uh, what is that? Forty-four total drawers to work with. But I don't want to spread our tools out because I do need some drawers for other stuff. You know, random screws and stuff like that. And so the only way to do this is to just dive in and just start putting stuff in drawers. And then the, I think the key that we're finding out when doing this scale, I mean, again, this is about 3,000 tools. I'm doing a number, the size and scale of what we're working on is to not screw anything down until you're done. Because I'm, I keep having them unscrew half the stuff as we realize, well, you know, this drawer wasn't completely full. And then I had sort of resigned last night, the resign that, hey, we got, we got plenty of drawers so we can just spread it out. Well, we don't, even though we have 40 something drawers, it's still not enough to fit this monster array of essentially every tool, that, every tool that Sonic makes. And so you can see the cool part about this is that you can really pack a lot of stuff in the drawer and get nice and organized. So this was our original thesis, but that isn't gonna work because we've got too many tools to organize. So we've got to make it closer. More, more compact, yes. use every square inch of what we have available so that we can fit our tools in here and still have a little room left over. And so we've got three eighths, half inch, quarter inch, three quarter, metric, SAE, ratchets, wrenches, Allen keys, you name it, I got it. And then some, some redundancy, you know, we got some extra tools that we have some extra pieces of. Uh, and so this is also, uh, we're taking inventory, this was an older drawer from back at my old house. Uh, but we're we're attempting to figure out the combination of what's the best way, most efficient way to fit as many tools as possible in as tight of an area as possible. And then which drawers make sense to do tall drawers, like where do you put the tall stuff, where do you put the short stuff. And you just kind of have to play, you have to move stuff around and keep trying. So we've got three-quarter stuff, which I wish I didn't I mean, you rarely use three-quarter. We could make this more dense, but the problem is three-quarter inch stuff weighs so much that what I did was took our three-quarters and spread it across three drawers. So Tony set all these drawers up. Red is SAE, blue is metric. <laughs> it just keeps going. Just in case. We need to work on an oil rig. In case you need an, an, an attitude adjustment. I cut it off at 50 millimeters because I've got up to 80 millimeters upstairs. Obviously, that's not fit in the drawer. These aren't going to fit in the drawer either, so I'm probably going to put this in a, in a cabinet. Half inch drivers and stuff? I think so. So I'm kind of going through this. I've started working on how am I going to set up like our. Milwaukee accessory pack. This is a small percentage of the accessory pack. So I got at least two more, maybe three more drawers worth of accessories for our you know, drills and drivers and all of that stuff and our 
saw saws and bowl saws and you name it. So just working on this and we'll kind of capture this throughout the day and show you what we come up with at the end of this. I doubt we're going to finish this, uh, but we're going to put a pretty decent sized dent in it. Yeah. And then I'm going to go and be depressed. I don't know about I'll these gaps. So much for there. I don't know about these gaps, man. The this one? The gap right there, yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Phase one, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so let me just look how much better that looks. So, yeah. your normal inclination would be to lay those flat, but the beauty of tool grid with tall drawers is that you can fit, like this would take up at least two drawers. Yeah, we already laid consolidated. It flat. Yeah. So we that's two drawers down to one. And then like we'd set up our extensions and now we're realizing we have some space in our three eighths. Well, maybe. Don't really in three eighths. <laughs> maybe. Three eighths is the more that it's probably the most of everything. Yeah. Yeah. There's one, one drawer, we've already got this board built, and then all of this too. Yeah. Yep, yep, so, yep. Yeah, there's not really we're gonna probably have to have three drawers or three eighths. Can you maybe try to like double stack in some of these up? I mean we can play with it a little bit, but that I mean, that's a lot of yeah. Uh, Brandon for loves the bins. He just wants to put everything in the bin. Doesn't go somewhere. Put, put it, it in a bin. bin. We just have one bin on this one. It's okay. Yeah, you're going to redo that. This is bin worthy. We're we like wasting too much space. This is valuable real estate. You're going to do a little bit of All right. I'm going to start working on the wrenches, which is daunting. Which is wrenches galore. All right. I think the shells here working on our. Our uh, Allen key, Allen stuff. Got all the colors of the rainbow going on here. Which I, I'm having real strong hoarder tendencies here in that I've got some redundant tools and some extra stuff and I just don't want to give it up. I do not want to give it up. So Brandon's consolidated three drawers down to two, or four. Yeah, three down, four down, four to, down three. to three. So you got all the screwdrivers in here and hand with extra space to spare. Yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Good. And so yeah. now he's gotta figure out where to put these eight or so and squeeze those into the three drawers. And we'll get rid of that. Yep. Oh boy, there's a long screwdriver in there. You can do it. You can yeah, do these it. are tough. You can do it. So the boards have to be cut in order to fit. So these, door, these boards are not made specifically for for these. Uh, what are you trying to do? Pull that thing off? Yeah, I need to take the whole guard off. This this just comes off. You just kind of wiggle it out. So you've got to cut the grid to the right dimension. So for saber cabinets, you want a TGB-04 board, and then you have to cut it. Why do we have two cuts on this? Because so, we, it so was the I'll, first me, one, so it needed to be adjusted a little bit. So you, I cut the, the, this is the side to side, front to back, right? Yeah. So the side to side is 26 inches, but it's still too long. You can't get it over the lip. It needs to be, because they have, for the rails, they have the yeah. attachments. So they cut the one, our example, twice? No. Possibly, or they I trimmed might. it. So yeah. this, as without any cuts, yeah. needs to be a little bit less than 26 inches wide. Got it. In order like to fit the lip. 25. Because the drawer is like 26.18. It's like a saw blade width yeah. taken off, basically. Yeah. yeah. And Got then it. the length, we cut 19 and a quarter. And you can cut it with whatever you want. Jigsaw, uh, circular saw, we you know, have a little table saw. It'd be smarter if we had a little bit more finer tooth blade, but this does the job. Framing blade. And so you have to cut the grid to fit the drawer and see all, almost all drawers have a lip on them. So you have to cut it a little bit smaller in order to fit the lip. All right, I made some progress on the screwdriver drawers. Shane's making some progress on our 3 8 drawer. So we got all the ratchets and extensions. We can just swap drawers. I'm gonna say this drawer would go on the top. This is the quarter inch. So, so quarter it would, inch. It would go here. So we'd flip these. We two can flip drawers the drawers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd flip those two drawers. And then what I probably want to do. Let me see how that goes. 
Because this is where our, our half inch stuff or ratchets and all that will go here. Some lunch, lunch oatmeal cream pies, <laughs> chips. Starting a new program. Day one, Monday. It's my 837th day one in the last uh, five years. I'm just working on our layout here. We're gonna have to make a run to get some more tool grid. I want to add up what all this tool grid would have cost. Did cost. I should have said it out would have. It's not virtual, it's real. What did it cost me? So I'm gonna put this thing in a drawer and keep you up to date so this one gets these little little holders and then I kind of rigged up something here for this. Alright, we had to run to HQ and snag some more tool grid. So we grab from here and I grabbed a bunch of boxes. So yeah. We're gonna have to figure out how to teach you how to do this. Because if you don't have access like I do, then you can't do this running back and forth stuff. All right, I just discovered that we have a different kind of large cam holder, which is new. So that held in the large stuff nicely. So there's our metric drawer. I don't know where it's gonna go yet, but I just kind of put it in here. And he's over here working on another metric drawer. Some like oddities. Yep, yep, yep. Can we get these in there too, these puppies? Sure. Like that. Yep. Oh, that goes to this other set. The beauty of tool grid is you always find an extra. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Oh, that's why you don't screw them in. Yeah. So I'll have to change those up because I have to add that behind there. Yeah, so. so. That's part of the thing. You just kind of you have to be willing to fight for it. Just you know, sometimes you just give up, come back the next day, you know, or a couple hours later. Yeah, just pop these out, put that set, shift and then, them all. Yeah, and then that's why but these you, are loose. But this is difficult. I'm sure this is difficult for people who aren't into this kind of thing. I can imagine, like, you know, we're like born with this. Yeah. Some people yeah. aren't born with this, and so, and even for for us, it's like you have to. Just start. You have to be patient too. Yeah. Because I did this whole thing, and now I have to probably take all these out, but then I'll just rearrange this side. But if you yeah. just sort of place them, yeah, if so you, you think you, about how yeah. they're going to sit, you, you know, dry run it, and then you put the things in, and then you have to be willing to be wrong. Yeah. In order to get it right. Yeah. And so you can see if we went and just brought, brought the house. Because you know, largely we needed what the medium. Medium multis. Yeah, these so definitely those large are large cam holders are awesome. Ten bucks says we need more of those large cam holders to draw the whole thing. I would say small is too small overall, medium is universal. Yeah, yep, yeah, for most for most things. So we're gonna have vice grips, whatever these things are called, wrenches or um, pliers. Air pliers. So this drawer is done. These drawers are done over here. Set up. Those are done, and then uh, we're working on uh, the metric. I'm going to start working on the SAE benches. This will go, go into hopefully a drawer or two. To work on those. Alrighty, got ourselves another completed drawer. Now we're starting to feel like we're making some progress here. All, their, all our sonic vice grips and then various uh, spark plug holders. Really, what the most of it is, and then NWS 
version of a it's a uh, what do we call it? channel lock. It's kind of like we call it Bounty Kleenex channel lock. Yeah. It's not ever yeah, what we call it. But look at this. This is this is magic. I got it in. A little reverse. Nice. That's all of them. Reverse yep. Well, the problem is I've got six more over here in the uh, cabinet. <laughs> They're too big though, they don't fit. They don't fit in here, they're too long. Oh my god. Not six more, four more, only four more. Well, four more and not going to destroy. Yeah. I like it. That's good. They're not really in a good some like right order. Thing there. Doing some tweaking. I'm working on metric stuff. This is, this is coming together. Yeah, this is looking good. Alright, working through. And he's working on hammers and chisels. Guys and Chelsea are working on these little goofy oblong things we got. I'm working on screwing down. By the way, you want, you want one of these things. The surge is so smooth for certain applications like this. I have both the M18 and M12s. Should have these in stock as well. These are going to be 10% off on Black Friday, but it's just so smooth. Not quite as much torque as the regular one, but smooth as silk. So these are all metrics. We're working on some of these, especially car things. I did know at one point what all the tools did, but I don't remember exactly what some of them do. That's this is for rivets. That wire crimping. No, that's not for crimping. No, I forget what it's for. And it makes perfect sense what you know. I just don't remember. That's it's like a clip weights. puller. Oh, will oh, okay. yeah. So I need to take that to the garage yeah. actually. So don't put that in there. I don't know that I would actually Wait, use that. Is that what the C4 is? These look very similar. No, no. that one's different. Okay. I don't remember what that's for. It has a lock on it. It's for smashing fingers. These aren't Sonic, so it's junk. Well, I mean, it's part of the Sonic catalog. <laughs> it all is. this stuff is a hodgepodge anyway. They're sourcing from all over the place. I mean, like, it just doesn't have the NWS. Sonic logo. All right, it is Sunday morning, so uh, like we did a full day yesterday, six people, and um, a half day, or you know, like an evening worth of work on. Friday, and so today we'll kind of button this all up, but um, I, I probably won't get to the, the accessory drawers, but I want to finish the tools. So finishing up this one here, just putting the screws in and put that in one of these drawers down here. But we move lots and lots of drawers around to kind of set things up. So I'm going to reposition some of these drawers and over here, I think. Uh, but it, it's easier to kind of put drawers together, and then you just move them around. And so, you have this drawer organized, so that's three quarter. This is three quarter. I didn't love the idea of putting two three quarters in one cabinet. I think we're okay. Because yeah, the three quarter stuff, you know, you could fit more in there, but it's so heavy. So there's my three quarter stuff. I think I'm going to put this Milwaukee accessory in that drawer above the three quarter. And then we start to get to organize spaces. So I've got my most used Milwaukee accessories here. Then wrenches, metric wrenches. There's a lot of wrenches. More metric, sort of obscure wrenches. Push that down there. It's kind of, I have to kind of break those in. I need to screw all these down. Then more metric wrenches. These ones are really difficult to do. So, kind of do these big cam holders and they, they move around a little bit, but that's the best we can do on those. You come up with creative ways to do things. More metric wrenches. And then, I don't love this, but SAE wrenches are down here. Got the SAE stuff there. And then, I'm going to have a bunch of, so all my Drill bits and blades are going to be here. 
So this top drawer, I think it's going to be where I put like all my measuring devices most used, like like my skin wedge, putting some most used accessories, pencils, things like that, or markers. And I've got I'm going to play with this one a bit more. So torque wrenches, and this drawer is awesome. More torque wrenches. So what we did here was just put this and then the, each of them kind of keep themselves in place because they're too wide to fit in the drawer. So this worked out great. So again, you just put the little, whatever this thing's called. The, and we made sort of a cut mistake on most of them, but it actually works out. Uh, the problem is with the lips of the drawer, as I showed you before, you can't, you can't get them in. And then let's see. So these, this one's cool. So flatheads and Phillips, and picks and specialty screwdrivers, nut drivers, then Torx and hex, or I guess whatever socket type screwdrivers. Then we've got. Allen's. This one just kind of sits in there, it's too big. Put anything else in there, but it's not going anywhere. Just kind of keep it in place. Then more Allen's, only T handle, Allen, and nut drivers, and Torx hex head. And then more Allen's, and Torx, and all that stuff. It's kind of cool. Then over here, I'm just going to go through all the bags and stuff we use for inventory. So I got quarter inch drive, all the quarter inch ratchets and everything are in here. So this is all, all done. We're going to screw those down. And then I've got three eighths here. We, I kind of torn on whether to put the ratchets or the sockets. So the most used sockets are going on the top drawer. And then you have all of your ratchets and extensions right below that. We have to screw these down as well. Below that, we've got some, uh, these are like uh, obscure car stuff. Here, uh, to my organize that. And then we've got half inch sockets half inch everything else, ratchets, and half inch impact. And then over here, these are my favorite drawers. We've got all of our various pliers and electrical tools, and shears, cutting tools. Below that are more pliers, vice grips, hammers, chisels. So, like these, one, two, three, these, these three drawers were in like seven drawers. So it's like seven drawers down to three. That's why tool grid is awesome. But I do think the combination of tool grid and Kaizen foam is the solution. Now, that's assuming you don't have sonic cabinets. Another option. So the reason why I bought this, I bought, I wanted to sort of figure out how to accessorize, how to put this together, how to organize a large set of tools. So including the Milwaukee stuff, we got thousands, I would say at least 3,000 individual components. And I'm gonna go through this and kind of clean out some of this. This was what I had in a wash bay back in my old house. So most of this stuff I don't need anymore. And then somebody brought up a good point. I really need to get a good floor jack. If I'm gonna be, you know, if I have all these tools here, I'm probably gonna do a lift. Again, I'm gonna be here for several years, at least while we're building and figuring out what we're gonna do with the house. Air compressor, pressure washer. So this would be a fully functioning OG type garage. But this project doesn't look like much when it's done, just like most of it. This organization project has been Six people working for 
12, 10, 12, 15 hours if I had to do this myself. It would have been brutal. What? People will be so excited to hear Formula One in the background. He'll be speaking, speaking better of me. So, we're at several thousand screws. We think we're, we're at 23 bags of 100 screws. Still rolling through. And so, Brandon's putting all the screws in these. So, we started screwing down some, but other drawers we kind of saved. Yeah screwed after the fact just in case we needed to add or subtract something. So each one of these things needs to get screwed. All right, that's a wrap for this video. I'll go uh, compile the cost of what we spent on cool grids. I, I left a, a bit here because I still have a few more drawers to, to work on, but let's, uh, let's show the final results. So nothing over here yet. So these drawers are empty. We sure freed up a lot of drawers. So I want to say we had tools in all of those, all of those, all of those, all of those, some of those. So I probably freed up about five drawers. I should have kept count. So yeah, I'm going to go through this drawer with all my fasteners. So we're going to do all our fasteners and all that stuff over here. So the first drawer, that's one, three quarter. Two would be saws. And then I've got to bring saw blades and stuff like that in here. Get that cleaned up. Three, three quarter, I've seen this. Four, there's four. I'm gonna do this drawer, so this will be this will be five. I'm gonna do this one here and re, you know, modify that setup that I have there for all of my. This is like measuring and measuring cutting pencils. That's what's going on there. So six, seven, eight. Is this drawer? Nine. Ten. Here. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. I have some more accessories, but there's nothing there, so I got four empty drawers right here. That was 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, quarter inch, 22, pliers, 23, 24, hammers, chisels, 25, Six more three eighths, twenty seven is there, nothing there, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Nice. So I'll probably have at least two more drawers. So that's Right now I have three Milwaukee drawers, so that's 27 drawers of tools. And then I've got, um, so I've got 30, let's probably another two drawers, so that'd be 32, probably 32 drawers of our 12, 24, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 
39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 44 drawers. So I'll have 14 drawers to do other stuff with in here. So yeah, it's fun, fun. Lots of man hours went into that project. Thanks for all the all my friends for coming out and helping me do it. Raz and Chelsea, Brandon, Shane, Tony. So the six of us worked on this pretty diligently for a good solid two days. All right, so I figured it would be smart to show you what all this stuff worked out to be, what it cost. So we had approximately 1,800 Sonic tools. So we had 1,800. It was like 18 and 10 or something like that. I had about uh, Milwaukee accessories, uh, about 800. And I've got a bunch more to do. So um, I've got like saw blades and um, like sawzall blades and... Um, what else do I have to do? Um, there's quite a few. Yeah, sawzall blades. We already did jigsaw blades. So I've got some more no, some more stuff to do. So at least another couple of drawers worth of Milwaukee accessories. So I've done about, there's, there's 800, but I've done about 700 of the accessories. And then this needs to be, a, I guess, a comma, right? And uh, we did... I would guess, I didn't add it up, but I guess I did another roughly, I would say another 200 tools, just miscellaneous, miscellaneous tools. Another 200. So, you know, we did a good, you know, approaching 3,000 tools in total. And so what was needed in order to finish this? Now, the thing that's very glaringly clear to me is that we're going to need to provide you with some more detail on how to buy this stuff. Because we went back to OGHQ four times, three times to get more stuff. Uh, and so I need to figure out a way to give you a rough estimate and then also give you a path for return. So when you buy these, now let's say you bought a 25 pack and you used five of those, you can't send the 20 back because it's a 25 pack. But let's say you bought 10 25 packs and you only used eight, uh, you can send them back and you know, we'll, we'll give you a credit for that. So we're going to work that out and figure out the detail on that. So we used, you know, 20, so 200 small wrench holders. What is that? It's 140, 10 large wrench holders. Um, you know, when you kind of go down, go down the list, you know, we used used uh, a 30, 340 tip holders and 180, uh, so 18 handle holders. And you can kind of see down the list of the things we used here. Uh, let's kind of shrink it here so you could screenshot this if you wanted to. So we'll just pause that there for a second. And uh, so my total, the boards cost the most. Those are 63 bucks a piece. Uh, and screws cost the second of 11 bucks. So, uh, yeah, the screws were the second most tip holders because of the sheer quantity was the third most costly item. Uh, and so my total retail was 35, 15, 35. Now, remember, that's to do about 3,000 tools. So just for rough math here, because we had a really good, this is a really good um, uh, universe uh, to create a case study around. So that works out to be uh, $121.22 per drawer. So say round somewhere between $100 and $150, I'd say use that 100, say 125 bucks a drawer. So if you have 10 drawers to do, you think you have 10 drawers worth of tools to do, um, you're looking at, you know, about, uh, what does that be, 100, uh, 1200 bucks or so to do it. If you have five drawers, you know, 500 to 600 bucks. So uh, you can kind of use this as a guideline for what, you know, what it should cost to do, you know, a reasonable set. Now, we're going to go and build out the Obsessed Garage site and really work on um, how how this, the heck is that, Obsessed Mobile Detailing. No, I want Obsessed Garage. So you want um, you want to make sure that you're... Um, 
we want to make sure that you're able to figure out how to buy this stuff, you know, and go on the site. How many tip holders do I need? How many, how many uh, grid holders do I need? You know, what do I need to, 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 to complete a project? What's a reasonable amount? And then if I buy a bunch of extra, so I don't have to keep waiting, because you want to work on this project on a weekend or something like that. Uh, we didn't do any identification labels. So if I would have done that, uh, it was just too many tools. I probably would have had another couple hundred dollars, you know, two, three hundred dollars worth of identification labels. You know, those are three bucks a piece and I would have needed a bunch of them. So uh, that would have cost quite a bit to to add that. We didn't do that because of the sheer, sheer amount. But uh, yeah, project turned out great. Uh, We stay tuned as we figure out how to how to make you and help you navigate this stuff. Uh, but in the future, it's coming. Uh, for the time being, you at least have a video to for those of you that are early adopters who don't mind doing some figuring, calculating, and work on your own. Um, this should be you know, at least a good reference point for you to get started in what you might need to do uh, a large grouping of products. The other thing I'm going to work on is I'm actually going to send out a full Milwaukee accessories package uh, out to out to Tool Grid and have them see if they can do a better job and, and create some new things for tool storage and organization. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.